Welcome to this complete Prague Czech Republic travel guide. Nestled in the heart of Central Europe, Prague is a city that pulses with history, culture and breathtaking architecture. It's a city where ancient castles stand shoulder to shoulder with modern design, where cobblestone streets echo with the footsteps of kings and queens, artists and rebels. In the coming minutes, we'll embark on an adventure through this magical city, visiting landmarks that have stood the test of time. We'll explore the majestic Prague Castle, cross the iconic Charles Bridge, and immerse ourselves in the vibrant energy of the Old Town Square. We'll marvel at the St. Vitus Cathedral, watch time pass on the astronomical clock, climb the Petrin Hill, visit the Prague Zoo, and witness the expressive Lenin Wall. And lastly, we'll take a stroll through the historic Jewish Quarter and the bustling Wenceslas Square. So, buckle up as we discover the magic and mystery of Prague. Our first stop is the majestic Prague Castle. This colossal fortress, perched high on a hill, has been a symbol of power and protection for over a thousand years. Imagine the countless stories these ancient walls could tell, having witnessed the rise and fall of empires, the birth of a nation and the march of time. The Prague Castle, or Pratsky Hrad, as the locals call it, is not just a single structure, but a complex of stunning buildings, gardens and courtyards. It's like a city within a city, with the Guinness World Records naming it the largest ancient castle in the world, covering an area of almost 70,000 square metres. Within its fortifications, you'll find the Gothic splendor of St. Vitus Cathedral, the enchanting Old Royal Palace, and the charming Golden Lane. It's a gateway to the past, a testament to architectural ingenuity and a symbol of Czech resilience. With its breathtaking views and historical significance, Prague Castle is truly a sight to behold. Next, we journey to the iconic Charles Bridge and Old Town Square. Charles Bridge, with its 30 statues and statuaries, is a testament to Gothic architecture. It's named after King Charles IV, who laid the first stone in the 14th century. As you stroll across, you'll feel centuries of history beneath your feet. Now let's saunter into the Old Town Square, the heart of Prague's historic core. Here you'll be enveloped by a kaleidoscope of architectural styles. The Gothic Tin Church, Baroque St. Nicholas Church and the Rococo Kinski Palace are all vying for your attention, but it's not just about the past. This square is teeming with life, a vibrant blend of food stalls, street performers and buzzing cafes. Every corner of this place tells a story, from the cobblestone paths to the spires reaching for the sky. It's a symphony of the past echoing in the present. Walking through Charles Bridge and Old Town Square is like stepping back in time. Now we visit the magnificent St. Vitus Cathedral and the astronomical clock. The St. Vitus Cathedral, a stunning example of Gothic architecture, is Prague's spiritual symbol. Its construction began in the 14th century and it took nearly six centuries to complete. Can you imagine waiting that long for your house to be built? Moving along, the astronomical clock in Old Town Square is a marvel in itself. Crafted in the early 15th century, it's the third oldest astronomical clock in the world and the only one still operating. The clock doesn't just tell time, it shows the position of the sun and moon and even has a calendar dial with medallions representing the months. It's like the Swiss army knife of timepieces. These landmarks aren't just beautiful, they're testimonials to human ingenuity and the passage of time. They invite us to reflect on our place in the universe. The St. Vitus Cathedral and Astronomical Clock are stunning examples of Prague's rich architectural history. Let's escape the city buzz and explore the serene Petrin Hill and Prague Zoo. A stone's throw away from the heart of the city, Petrin Hill stands as a tranquil oasis, a haven for those seeking a bit of respite from the hustle and bustle. This hilly park, which was once a vineyard in the Middle Ages, is now adorned with cherry blossom trees that bloom spectacularly in the spring, painting the hill in delightful hues of pink. At the summit, you'll find the Petrin Lookout Tower, often dubbed as Prague's Eiffel Tower. Don't worry, you don't have to climb all those stairs. There's a funicular railway that can take you to the top, where you'll be rewarded with a panoramic view of the city's red rooftops, spires and the meandering Vltava River. It's a sight that's worth every step, or in this case, every funicular ride. And while you're on Petrin Hill, don't forget to visit the Mirror Maze. It's a labyrinth of mirrors that distort your reflection in a fun and amusing way. Trust me, it's the perfect spot for a good laugh and some silly selfies. 
From the heights of Petrin Hill, we moved to the plains of Prague Zoo. Spread over 58 hectares, the zoo is home to more than 5,000 animals of 680 species. Here you can watch a polar bear take a leisurely swim, gaze at the majestic lions, or even catch a glimpse of the rare and endangered Prutzewalski's horses. One of the zoo's unique features is the Indonesian jungle, a tropical greenhouse that lets you walk among free-flying birds and observe Komodo dragons up close. Just remember, while dragons are fascinating, they're not the cuddly kind. The Prague Zoo is not just about entertainment, but also about conservation. It's been instrumental in saving the Prutzewalski's horses from extinction, a testament to its commitment towards preserving wildlife. Petrin Hill and Prague Zoo offer a tranquil escape from the bustling city. So, when you need a breather, you know where to go. Our journey continues to the vibrant Lennon Wall and Wenceslas Square. Known for its technicolor canvas of graffiti and peace messages, the Lennon Wall has stood as a symbol of freedom and rebellion since the 1980s. It all began with a single image of the legendary Beatle John Lennon, painted by an unknown artist after Lennon's murder. This sparked the rebellious spirit of Czech youth who took to the wall to voice their grievances and dreams of peace, earning it the name Lennon Wall. Even today, the wall's ever-changing facade is a testament to the enduring spirit of hope and freedom. Every inch is adorned with layers of paint, symbols, lyrics and messages from locals and tourists alike. It's a living, breathing work of art that continues to evolve, just like the city itself. From there, we move to Wenceslas Square, one of Prague's main city squares and the heart of the new town. Not to be confused with a traditional square, it's more of a boulevard stretching out over 700 meters. Named after St. Wenceslas, the patron saint of Bohemia, it's a hub of history and activity. This square has witnessed some of the most pivotal moments in Czech history. From the proclamation of the Czechoslovak Republic in 1918 to the anti-communist protests of the Velvet Revolution in 1989, Wenceslas Square has been a backdrop to it all. Today it's a bustling blend of shops, restaurants and nightlife, with the towering National Museum at one end standing guard over the square's rich history. Visiting Lenin Wall and Wenceslas Square, you'll find yourself immersed in layers of history, culture and art. You'll feel the pulse of the city, the echoes of the past, and the vibrant energy of the present. They're not just destinations, but experiences, each telling a unique story of Prague's dynamic journey. The Lenin Wall and Wenceslas Square are symbols of Prague's dynamic history and culture. Lastly, we explore the historic Jewish Quarter. Nestled in the heart of Prague, the Jewish Quarter, or Yosefov, is a testament to centuries of Jewish history and resilience. It's an area steeped in stories where every cobblestone has a tale to tell. Once a walled ghetto, the Jewish Quarter has transformed over the centuries, retaining its unique spirit and charm. Amidst its narrow, winding streets, you'll find six synagogues, each brimming with history and architectural splendor. Don't miss the old new synagogue, the oldest functioning Jewish house of worship in Europe. The old Jewish cemetery, another must-see, is a hauntingly beautiful place. With tombstones dating back to the 15th century, it's a poignant reminder of the lives lived and lost here, and as we wander through the Jewish Quarter, we're reminded of Prague's rich tapestry of cultures and histories. The Jewish Quarter is a poignant reminder of Prague's rich and diverse history, and that concludes our journey through Prague. We've traversed the majestic Prague Castle, a symbol of Czech history that has stood the test of time. We've ambled across the iconic Charles Bridge, soaking in panoramic views of the city and stepped back in time in the Old Town Square, where history meets modernity. Our journey took us to the awe-inspiring St. Vitus Cathedral and the astronomical clock, a testament to Prague's rich scientific and architectural heritage. We've climbed Petrin Hill for breathtaking views and made some furry friends at Prague Zoo. We've basked in the vibrant energy of Lennon Wall and Wenceslas Square, and delved into the poignant past of the Jewish quarter. Each landmark a story, each story a glimpse into the soul of Prague, a city where every cobblestone, every spire, every quiet corner tells a tale. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Prague, a city of history, culture, and stunning beauty. Until next time, safe travels.